Everything is embarrassing enough, no matter how good it is going. Uh, Dash, you whisper. She stirs, soon shifting to look up to your face once again. Yeah? What in all the hells did you plan after that? Nothing, of course. You're back to being Master Airhead. You stammer something unintelligible and Rainbow picks up on it instantly. She shifts, sits up a bit more and brings her face very close to yours. Her big beautiful eyes are pretty much burning holes in the side of your head before you turn to look at her. Yes, oh Anon dear. She speaks with a very mocking tone. Somehow it relaxes you. Uh, wanna watch a movie or something? You manage the words fairly well. You observe her for a desperate second. She pulls a face, but then just laughs and drags her hoof softly across your chest. You know what? I'd love to watch a movie. You lick your lips in thought for a second, then shift ever so carefully to get up. Rainbow leans back and pretty much strikes a pose. Sexy, mixing mockery and seduction on her face. You scramble off the sofa and step across the room to your horrendously outdated Pony Tech TV. This place has a sporadic view on television broadcasting and most films made are only viewed in cinemas or in gatherings on special occasions. The everyday broadcast simply never took off. That did not stop some clever ponies from dreaming up and part magically construct some manner of video recorder. You fumble through your meager collection of tapes. Pony cinema was, or perhaps still is, a difficult thing to get into. But as with any film industry, there's always something that comes out interesting. Pony action flicks are a definite favorite. Lots of adventure and intricate fights. Less emphasis on violence and more speed-filled acrobatics. You recall something in the muddled conversation from last night that Rainbow likes both speed and acrobatics. She does seem like the target audience of these kind of films. You stop debating with yourself of what to pick and hold up two fairly worn tapes. Uh, Operation Thundercloud or Fly Hard 3? Dash shines up. In fact, her entire body perks up. She sits cross-legged, hooves down in her lap with wings slowly unfolding. You've got Fly Hard 3? I haven't seen that one since, like, junior flight camp. Her sunny grin pierces your heart like a wicked spear of awesome. You nod and pop the tape into the ragged old corner. A bit of finicking about and holding the right buttons for a very specific amount of time, the dusty thing sputters to life. You move over to sit down and Rainbow reaches out for your arm and hugs it closely. She pulls you down to the sofa and cuddles up to you as the intro begins playing. You're a real treasure, Anon. This is gonna make me nostalgia so hard. Cheesy rock music, even for your human ears. You recall the 80s and early 90s action from your world and realize you've seen this pony flick almost as many times as you saw certain Schwarzenegger movies. Now, you aren't even alone. This is going to be a good time. The plot is pretty standard, just with a whole lot less drugs, guns and terrible innuendos than your average human flick. You aren't entirely paying attention to the screen though, you're far more interested in the Pegasus on your arm. She squeezes your arm lightly when stuff happens in the film. She cheers at certain things and looks to you with sparkling eyes when you randomly blurt out some quotes for a one-liner that happens all too often in these kind of movies. More than halfway through the rather lengthy adventure, you notice her glancing up at you more frequently. Finally, your eyes meet with a long, longing glance. You know the time has come. The electricity coming off the action scene on the screen is nothing to the electricity between you two. You lean in, never so sure about anything before in your life. You see her eyes close slowly and her lips pucker. You let your free hand wander up her back and into her mane. Your lips meet, careful at first. You grab her head softly and soon deepen the kiss. Pull back just slightly, no need to end it yet. Your lips meet again, a little bit more intensity. Gentle pecking for a moment, then you part your lips. She feels it, she does the same. Your tongue reaches for hers and she meets it. A quick touch of the very tips of your tongues. She lets out a short, huffing pant. Then she takes it on herself to take the step. She lets her tongue dance with yours, deepening the kiss significantly. Your grip of her tightens slightly and she presses herself against you, now embracing more than just your arm. The action on the TV is now simply forgotten background noise. You tangle with each other for some time, breaking kisses, diving back in, passionate, exploring, and even a bit sloppy. 
Finally, you both pull back and look at each other. She licks her lips with a deep blush riding her cheeks. You take a deep breath and remain almost completely still, definitely not wanting to release her from your grip. She blinks slowly a few times and smiles, a sweet, sweet smile. <laughs> Anne Hunter, we're missing the movie. You do not even turn your head, yet you loosen your grip slightly. She shifts in her seat to half look at the television, half cuddle up against you. Close. So close. You both remain still for the remainder of the movie. You are much quieter than you were before, but you do crack the odd quote and revel in the sound of her giggling as you do. When the film is over, Dash rubs the top of your chest with her hoof and nuzzles her cute little snout just under your yaw. That was awesome, Anne. I like the animation too. Your hand searches across her back, ruffling the feathers of her wings with your arm. You finally find the top of her tail and twine your fingers in the rainbow mess. I'm glad I found one you liked so much. You feel her lips on your neck as you speak. You grin uncontrollably. If yesterday was the best day ever, what is today? There cannot be a scale for these things. Sitting still for so long gets me all stiff. She murmurs the words and begins to shift. Before you know it, she has slithered out of your grip once more and positioned herself on top of you. She sits in your lap, facing you. What do you say we go outside for a while, clear our heads, and get the blood pumping? She raises a brow and puts on a quirky look. Then maybe we can find some chow, come back here, and <laughs> ignore another movie, hmm? Your face flushes, your expression says everything. Yes, yes, of course, you'd do anything for that. I, uh, I got energy for anything. She leans in and kisses your cheek, then suddenly leaps up, wings a flutter, and shakes her head. Her mane falls back into place, well, almost, as before it got wet. She gracefully lands after the very short flight and grins for you. You shuffle to your feet without words and look her up and down. You want some other clothes or something? Rainbow looks down to herself. Oh yeah, this is so comfy. I forgot I was wearing it. Her grinning face fixes on you again. I'll just slip into my stuff from yesterday. They aren't too nasty. She steps off towards the bedroom, looking back to you over her shoulder. She speaks with a singing voice. And no peeking. <laughs> a giggle accents her words and she hardly even closes the door after herself. You stand in the same spot she left you. Your head is more clear now, although there's a million things raging inside of you. What will happen? How will you get there? Like a leashed hunting dog smelling its prey, you want to howl and run around. Also, like a nervous teenage boy, you dream of poems of undying love. While you're standing around feeling silly about yourself, Dash re-enters the room in the same top and trash jeans from last night. An admirably simple, and at least to you, very attractive attire. You step over to her and offer her your arm. She looks at it and snickers. <laughs> Alright then, Mr. White Knight. Let's go for a pleasant little stroll. Her mocking tone is back. Her presence and posture is, too. You don't have to say anything as she takes your arm and lets you lead. Outside is swept in the pleasant shade of summer afternoon. There's a soft breeze and the scent of flowers is different at this hour. It never ceases to amaze you how well kept this nature is. Plenty of ponies around with green thumbs, or hooves as it were. You two walk alone, arm in arm, hoof in hand. Rainbow seems pleased with your wide strides as she gets to work a bit to keep up. There's a great big smile on her face all alone. She greets a few ponies you meet, the smile never leaving her face. You two turn heads, and Rainbow squeezes your arm a bit harder every time you do. Your mind races, your heart beats. Boyfriend-girlfriend scenario already? Why not? You were never one for excessive attention, still, you aren't one to back down either. Rainbow, on the other hand, seems to be practically glowing just being seen with you like this. After quite the walk, halfway through and around the town, she stops you and steps up before you. <laughs> this is a bit less hardcore than what I usually do for exercise, but I guess today is different in so many ways. She looks to the side, seemingly lost in thought for a moment. When her gaze returns to you, she is smiling yet again. Let's get 
get some pizza ciders to go and see about Operation Thundercloud, hmm? You cannot but to answer her smile. A non-activity and more alone time with Dash? You thought she'd never ask. Pizza and cider sounds like a plan right about now. Rainbow squeaks softly and grasps your arm again, pretty much turning on the spot. She then starts marching back almost exactly the way you came. Another round across Ponyville to show off the new, old, cute couple. End of chapter. <laughs>